Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the day in the life of Thomas Whitus. Yeah, so basically the other day I was at my dad's and I woke up and I had a really sore throat. Then every day it was just getting worse. But if I feel remotely wrong, I won't check it out. I will not check it out. When I move out, I'm gonna die because I will not check up on my illnesses. So then it was yesterday, this is about three days in now. I was talking to my mum about it and I ended up like checking my throat. And I looked into the back of my throat and I have white lumps all, all over my tonsils. So then we ended up going to the emergency doctors and waiting in there for three hours just to get some antibiotics and throat spray. So that was fun. So I'm not going in college today. I'm just staying at home. Just me and my tonsillitis. So let's have some breakfast. So the funny thing is I don't actually feel ill today. I think now that it's been confirmed that it's tonsillitis, I'm just like, Meh. Like I don't actually feel sick, but now I'm noticing that when I'm talking, my throat is definitely closed up a bit more. My gland is swollen as fuck. Ugh. <laughs> That is disgusting. I need to put fake tan on today. It's a good uncle. Right, well, I'm gonna make some oat so simple porridge. My throat's definitely closed up a bit more. You don't wanna see that. If I get remotely sick, I'm just like, treat me like a queen. Bring everything to me. Everyone come and visit. All my three friends come and give me attention. But yeah, it's just me and my mom and Jack. Can't forget yet. Now, I'm supposed to have my antibiotics on an empty stomach. When she told me that, I was thinking, but I never have an empty stomach. But are we on the same page here? Like, I'm, I'm always eating. The funny thing is, like, I don't know where this came from. Like, no one around me has tonsillitis. Now, I would go and eat this upstairs, but I'm also going to have a bowl of cookie crisp after this because I know I'm not allowed to eat for another two hours and I'm just going to be in bed all day, so. Mm. Oh, you fucker. Fucking bastard shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do actually have a tripod, but I just can't be able to use it. <sighs> so... You just propped up on my blinds. <sighs> She's nice. Why not? Brush. Right, I honestly think this has happened for a reason as a bit of a way to give me no excuse to not do my work because now it's like, Chloe, you don't feel ill, but you are going to be in bed all day, so the only thing you can do is work. So work. So today is going to be a college work, editing, fun-filled day, and it's literally 9am right now, so I am in for a treat. I actually kind of am looking forward to it, it's just like... And just anyway you can watch a weird montage of me doing some work if you want Well, 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 just to give you a bit of an insight as to how well I am at doing any form of academic work, I attempted to do the easiest shit, like, and I, I can do it, it's, it's not hard work, I have like two 1500 word essays to do and I have to notate some stuff, like, as in like music, the easiest shit that I could be given. I cannot do academic work in the slightest because I cannot be asked. And that's the bottom line. I am lazy when it comes to doing school, college work, all the time. Like, I'm more than capable of doing shit like that. I just won't do it. Because I, I have no 
I cannot find the drive in me whatsoever. So I was leaning over my mat, you know, just doing the work for about a good few minutes. And then next minute, I do one of them things where you go and woke up. So then I put my mat on the floor and actually went to sleep. The thing is, I'm not even like sleeping because I feel really, really ill. I'm just like, I'm just tired as fuck and I don't know why. So it might be because I'm ill, I'm not gonna, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I've just been sleeping and sleeping and so I can sleep for days. I'm not even kidding. I can be like not tired and still sleep, it's, it's weird. I didn't know what she was gonna bring and she just came up and woke me up with a roast dinner. My day just got a whole lot better. <sighs> I also said to her, I think the reason I like being asleep or I wanted to go to sleep was also partly because then I don't have to feel myself swallow. So I don't have to like feel the pain. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you, it really does fucking hurt when I swallow, but I'm a survivor. I'll be fine in a few days. Update in the same position as whenever the fuck I last vlogged. It's now 5 p.m. I've had more tablets and two hours after that, here we are and I'm eating a stir fry that my mother made me. It's proving to be quite hard to make an interesting vlog out of doing fuck all all day. How far have I got with my work? Glad you asked. Nowhere, absolutely nowhere. That's a lot, that was an over-exaggeration. Well, really not far. Like, really, in the amount of time I've been stuck in here, this is not okay. I'm incapable of doing my work. It's because, like, when I'm doing shit that I don't want to do, instead of just being like, right, Chloe, you can edit after this, you can actually do what you want to do. Once you've got it out of the way, I'll just sit there and just think about what I could be doing. Instead of just getting on with it and getting it out of the way, I'll just be like, I don't want to do this. Oh, speaking of smelling like beef, I need to have a shower today. I, uh, yeah, wait, what? Well, I'm going to turn the camera off and put my music back on so I can actually enjoy myself. Yeehaw. Oh, hi. Remember me? You probably think it's the exact same time as before, but no. We've moved on by another, like, five hours. Now I'm having some vegan ice cream to soothe my throat. So this vlog's interesting. I was ill like a month ago. I mean, ill, like bed bound for seven days straight. I had the worst fever. Oh my fucking God, it was fucking horrible. I'm all good now. Just got white shit in my throat. So what can you do? I feel way so bad. Ugh. 